Here's what it looks like when a car guy volunteers as a designated driver. Part one. Yo, Zach, do you want to go out to the bars tonight? Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I'll drive just because I got to get up early and I can't drink tonight. All right, bet. Hey, so when you get in, just watch the wires on the ground. You do not want to touch those. Okay. I don't know who really just keeps exposed electrical wires in their car, but uh, if you don't mind me asking, what happens if I kick one of those? We'd lose track control, stability control, and ABS, which if we started spinning out, we'd probably die. Not a big deal, but I'd prefer to avoid that. You know you could just drive my car. It's probably a, a lot safer. Nah, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Dude, what's the smell in this car? It smells awful. Uh, that's exhaust fumes. There's a bunch of holes in the floorboard, so if you start getting lightheaded, let me know. I'll crack a window. How do you drive this on a daily basis? It's actually not bad driving this thing on a daily basis. You just kind of have to avoid cold weather, snow, and rain. Other than that, it's fantastic. That doesn't seem very practical. All right, we're here. Uh, don't get out quite yet. I gotta let the car run and cycle a few times because if I shut it off too fast, it'll probably catch